All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make this 3D cartoon text effect here in Illustrator. I'm going to go with this text as a reference. By the way, I went with the Franklin Gothic Bold. This is a free Adobe font you can download. I'm going to right click on the text, create outlines, and I'm going to go to the colors and paint it gray. Let's go to the effects, 3D materials, 3D classics, and select extrude and bevel. And from here, let's go to the bevel. I'm going to change it to classic. And here you can increase or decrease the height of the bevel. And you also got the extrusion depth. I'm going to decrease it and work also on the height. And here you can rotate the text. And I'm probably going to go with these values, the extrusion depth on 19, the height on 4, and click OK. From here, let's go to the object, expand appearance. And now the text is going to be uneditable. And now I'm going to go and right click on the text, on group all. And as you can see, every shape is ungrouped. You also got these vector shapes in clipping masks. So what I'm going to do is go to the pathfinder here and click on unite. Now this is like a forced unite. If you don't have the pathfinder here at the properties, you can go to the windows and select the pathfinder. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rest as well. By the way, these vector shapes are only present at the rounded letters. Great. So now I united the vector shapes at the rounded areas at the letter P and the letter R. And now I'm going to select everything. Let's go to the stroke and I'm going to increase the weight. For example, I'm going to go with 075 and check out these edges. So what we're going to do is again, select everything. And you can see these edges. We're going to go to the stroke and decrease the limit. I'm going to go all the way down and you can see these spikes are going to disappear one by one. And now it's going to look clean. All right, from here, make sure that the fill is on the top and the stroke is on the bottom. And let's go to the swatches. And here you can change up the colors of every each form a one by one. After you finish recoloring, select all the shapes, right click and select group. And I'm going to zoom in, press and hold Alt, and we're going to create a duplicate. And I'm going to position it right on top of the 3D text. And from here, all you need to do is press Ctrl D. And this is going to create another copy on the top. And of course, you can repeat this step as many times as you like. And pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.